Hey, what's up guys? It's Shaq. Today we got a 2011 Mustang V6. We're going to be reviewing this bad boy, aka Crowd Killer. Uh, to start off, we can see we got the normal 2011 Mustang paint scuffing bullshit over here. Uh, that's normal in every 2011 Mustang, so especially the V6 models. I've seen it on multiple cars. So if you're interested in getting a 2011 Mustang, Make sure you got by any hood with that too because they're always fucked up. This is the key right here. Pretty standard key for Ford. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. Still a Ford at the end of the day. In the front of the car, you have the Mustang Pony logo, which makes the car even more Barbie-ish than it already is. Around the side, since there is a guy driving this car, we do have some aftermarket American Racing rims. These rims seem to be 19 inch rims with some all season tires on them, Pirelli's. They're bald as fuck though because this thing has no traction. On the side you see the windows are tinted because this faggot's always getting head, but that's all problem. If you could walk around in the car, you see he's got a bigger exhaust than that, that, than that, bleh, that, th that can actually, bleh. let me start over. He's got a bigger exhaust that can actually fit in his car. And he's also tinted the brake lights because he doesn't want to know when he's slowing down because he's always slowing down. He's also got a rear view camera. And this is because usually when he's backing up he hits all the pedestrians and stuff. So that's to help him record it for the insurance claims. Working our way around he has a shorter antenna than usual. This is because with all the people screaming when he hits them you can't hear the radio anyway. As you can see, this car has been through many curbs, as well as many lives. We have some of that evidence right here on the rim. Continuing around, we have a Ford Mustang logo right here. You could buy these things off fucking eBay for like $3, so really no big deal. Working your way around, you can see the brakes on this side. They're really rusty, and this is because they've been never used. Usually we just use people for cushioning and slowing down. On our way around, if we go to the bottom over here, we can see the lower bumper is a little cracked. And this is because when this thing goes over curbs and hits people, it gets, hits uh, it's too low and it hits that a little bit. So no big deal there, you know, we can live through all of it. I mean, the person inside the car can live through it. As you can see in the remote, there's the unlock button, we're gonna unlock it. Obviously this car has no kind of fancy you know, smart key access or anything like that. It is a 2011 Ford. Proceeding inside, we do have leather so that when you do hit people, you're in nice, comfortable leather and you feel like a real zombie killer. At the door, you can see it's a coupe. It's only got two doors. It does have rear seats, but you can't fit anyone in there except for dead bodies with no legs, which is really no issue for this car because every person it hits, he hits the legs. So, you know, back there, you don't really need legs. Going around, you can see the leather seats are nice. That is because this is the premium Mustang V6. There's only two models of V6 Mustangs for 2011. There's a premium and then there's a dirt bag cheap one. So you want to go for the premium because it has a couple more features than you would expect. It's got some floor mats. It's got a door sill. All these things illuminate really nicely. You have a big ass speaker even though the sound quality is shit. That's just to make you look badass. Sitting inside, you can see the inspection on this Mustang is have a 2018, and it does have a school bus on it. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, the DMV does not want you to hit little kids, which is no big deal. You know, we're gonna hit them anyway. Working around the steering wheel, we can see there's a Mustang Pony logo again, and that is again for all the Barbie fans. Now, this Mustang is not a convertible, so. You know, it is a uh, Barbie proof, but if it was, it would definitely be a uh, Barbie car. As you can see, there's a Mustang owner right there trying to fix his wheel, but uh, that's no big deal. He's never going to be able to get that thing fixed since he hits new people and new curbs daily. We're going to wait around. You got a little cup holder here. This has absolutely nothing in there because obviously uh, this car is a killing machine. Now what we can do is we can put this key inside, 
start her up, see what's, uh, see how she sounds. So that's what she sounds like when you are in the car. Now as we open the window, get some sunlight in here, which is not good for us vampires. We can see another uh, pedestrian trying to get out of the way. He's out of the way, so now we can rev the engine. That's 7,000 right there. And uh, this engine's really sluggish and slow, and that's because it's a Ford. Uh, as you know, fucker only rolls downhill. No big deal. So you have a super big, uh, you know, like an extended um, rear view mirror, and that's because uh, we can't see shit in the back anyway because we're tinted. And uh, I don't know why we have that in there, but we do. Putting this down, we can see we have, you know, a few little things here like that. We have a garage door opener, and that is because we do not want to break our garage door and we also do need to hide our car in the garage after we kill a bunch of people. Here we have just some two lights, uh, nothing too special because this is again a, a Ford. So even with the premium, you know, you get things like the shaker sound system, which is just, you know, something that looks good, doesn't really sound good. And you have shitty lights here, no big deal. Right in the middle you have a big ass shifter and uh, this is leather wrapped. You got reverse, neutral, drive three two and super torque mode which is for uh when you you know you got someone in front of you but you just want to hit them and chop off their legs you put it in number one and that's the first gear it'll uh give you super torque all right now you got the sound system right here that's all the controls right there for the sound system underneath there is the hvac and ac controls uh which means heating and air conditioning however uh, unless your car is, uh, you know, not in park, you won't be able to access them, as you can see. And the reason why Ford designed it this way is because, uh, as most, uh, you know, Ford engineers already know, all Mustang drivers will be hitting people uh, off the side of the road, and it is unsafe to have a uh, proper circulation when you're not in drive, or the car is not moving to have your AC running. It could overheat the system. Again, this is a Ford, so that stuff is common. That's why Ford designed it, so when you're in park, you can't access your AC or heat controls. No problem with that. Here you have a boost mode light. Uh, you can see it's pretty cool because it's got a little Mustang on it uh, with the boost mode. Uh, you can see out of its tires, it's smoking because uh, there's blood and that stuff just smells when it burns. There's a hazard right here. As you can see, you got little two pussy hazards in the middle. Uh, let me get this shit to focus. There we go. Let me turn those off. This is super track pack right here. It's a thing uh, that opens the rear trunk, apparently. What else? Other than that, this car is pretty simple. Like I said, there's no room in the back. The side seat's not bad. And uh, you do have good uh, room to get head if you're in here. You know, just if you move the seat a little back, that bitch could suck your cock all day long. Other than that, we could uh, turn this car off now because there's nothing, you know, no point in wasting gas. And we can work our way around again, and I'll show you something in the back. So like I was saying before, this car does have a super tiny exhaust. I mean, a super big exhaust. It does not fit there, as you can see right there. It's a little big for the uh, for the uh, rear diffuser. You can see some smoke. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I don't know if you just heard. There was a little kid running around because he thought I was about to drive. He didn't want to die. And here we have a little deck lid spoiler. We don't really need a spoiler. There's no downforce needed in this car but it's there and uh that pretty much sums it up for the 2011 ford mustang v6 con uh non-convertible premium model i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't go fuck yourself if you did hit the like button and uh feel free to leave a comment let me know what you guys think about the ford mustang especially this one in, in particular uh, i did i did go ahead and clean off all the blood stains on it from the people's legs so feel free to give me a like for that, leave me a comment for that, subscribe to my channel for that, follow me on Instagram at itshaxinsta, follow me on Twitter at shaxtweets, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.